Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to create 8 cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things. For my first card I'm using the flowers, this is the sketchy flowers stamp set and I'm going to stamp a few of them with uh, black ink. Now at this stage I don't know how many flowers I'm going to need for my card so I am going to go ahead and stamp a few, cut them out and have them ready to go and in case I'm not going to use them I can always use them for another card. Now I'm using the solid images included in the kit to stamp uh, the inside of the flowers and add them color and as you can see I'm using my Misty here just because this is a solid stamp I might need to stamp uh, twice just to make sure that uh, the image doesn't come up blotchy just like it did for the pink flower there. Now as you can see I'm following a rainbow colored theme so I'm going to stamp with pretty much every color in uh, the rainbow but uh, you will see that I will end up not using everything that I have stamped but I still have uh, a bunch of uh, cutouts so that I can make a similar second card. For my background I'm going to use this uh, pattern paper with the tiny little dots there are white dots I don't know if you can tell in on camera and I'm also going to use this uh, frame just to cut out the panel now I am trying to decide how my card is going to look so you have a pretty good idea. I am going to combine three different dies, the, um, the one that I am using here to create my panel. I have also cut out of a white cardstock that ring where I am going to nest my flowers inside and I have also cut out the word the big things so that I can uh, stick all those letters at the very bottom of my panel. Now as you can see I'm using the negative uh, cutout as a mask so that I know that everything I stick uh, down is nice and straight. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue and I'm going inside those gaps adding some glue and then I can place all the letters inside and peel off my stencil. And this way everything is uh, nicely lined up, everything is straight and they have a nice spacing in between them. Now I'm going to continue building up my card, I'm going to stick this ring on top of my panel, I'm adding some foam tape at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. And then I am going to decide which flowers I will use and just stick them coming out of this ring. Now I always like to play around a little bit with my cutouts before I decide and uh, where everything is going to go and commit with glue. So I am just trying to decide how I'm going to do my flower arrangement and then I can stick everything down with some foam squares at the back. Now my panel is ready, I'm going to add some uh, tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I decided to go with white since that matches perfectly with my letters as well as with my ring. Now on the inside, since I have a few leftovers, I'm going to stick uh, some of those uh, leaves just to embellish it a little bit more. I'm not going to add too much as I always like to keep my insides plain so I have enough space to write my message. And as always I'm going to finish off my card by adding some shine on my flowers with my shimmer pen. For my second card I am using uh, the little girl and this uh, is the stamp set uh, that's called uh, Happy Birthday to You. I am going to color here with my Zig uh, colors. So these are watercolor pens. I am uh, adding a little bit of uh, paint on top of an acrylic block and then with my watercolor brush I am picking it up. This way it's not as vibrant and I can control the amount of paint that I am adding on my image better. So I am working on a watercolor paper and I have stamped that with archival ink that doesn't bleed when you add water. After coloring here I used the matching dye and I ran it through my big shot so you see the finished die cut there. Now I am also going to try and decide which pattern papers I'm going to use and I'm going with the pattern papers that match perfectly the colors that I used for coloring uh, the image. So I will use this uh, green as well as uh, an orange that matches perfectly with her uh, dress. So now with these uh, two pattern papers I'm going to use the banners and these are the fringe banners. I am going to run it through and I'm all actually going to cut out both um, 
Papers at once. Now that I have all my cutouts ready, I'm going to work on my background so that I can uh, place my girl on top. Now I am working on a white piece of uh, watercolor paper and um, with Distress Oxide ink I'm going to create a little bit of a background. I'm not going to add too much as I want this to be quite subtle. With foam squares at the back I'm going to stick here on top of my background and you see that by using that masking tape I do have a straight line that kind of creates a ground there. On that white uh, bottom space I'm going to stamp the sentiment, I'm going to stamp surprise with black ink and that was a sentiment from the same stamp set as the little girl. With my liquid glue I'm going to create a line at the back of my fringes and then I'm going to stick them on top of my panel which is going to give a very festive look on my card. Just a line at the very top of the fringe and then just one on top of the other. Now I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess and I can work a little bit with those fringes just to make them look more dimensional. And my panel is ready to stick on top of a standard card. I decided to go with yellow for my card base, which is a great combo with all the colors that I used on my panel. And now let's move on to the third card, which is a lot of fun. This is going to be very simple so that I can just show you how you can use the plastic pouches to create shaker cards. I am using the balloon set that gives you the frame as well as the cutout of a balloon. They, it also gives you the strings as well as lots of uh, confetti pieces. So I'm going to use this balloon die to cut out a window on this uh, pink panel. And I'm also going to cut out the balloon frame out of the... A darker pink and you can see that they are made to fit one on top of the other perfectly. Now I'm going to bring in one of those pouches that have that uh, balloon shape and again you can uh, use them in another way, they are very versatile so you can use them as uh, easter eggs if you wish so to create easter shaker cards. Now I am going to add at the back some tape adhesive, I'm going to place the pouch there which is going to fit perfectly inside and this gives me a nice area to add my confetti later on. Now at the front I'm going to add some uh, glue and stick that uh, balloon frame on top which is going to give a nice finish on my card. I have also die cut a white uh, string and of course instead of using this die you can also use a real string which is going to add a different texture on your card. It's always nice to add such details and also you can tie a bow if you wish so. Now I am going to use as a sentiment the one that says make a wish. This comes from the 100 and happiness stamp set and I'm going to white emboss it. I am stamping with my Versa marking at the corner there. I'm going to apply white embossing powder and then heat set it. Now I am preparing my confetti mix and of course you can use any confetti mix that you might have. You can add a sequence there, little pearls, glitter. I am using the dyes that were included in this die set and I'm also using different uh, scraps of colored paper. So I will end up having a rainbow colored uh, confetti mix. These are tiny little stars that I am adding inside. And now that I'm happy with the amount of confetti inside my balloon, I'm going to add some tape adhesive around it. And I'm going to cover up that um, pouch with a piece of paper. Now this is the exact same color as the frame of my balloon, so it matches perfectly at the front. A very simple card but really lovely. I think it's going to bring a smile to every recipient. I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to create another shaker card for today. So I'm going to use this big uh, bold celebrate speech bubble. I'm going to cut it out of uh, gold cardstock and um, I'm going for a very clean and simple card here, but it's going to be very striking. 
Now I'm going to stick acetate at the back of this because this is going to be a shaker card. But as you can see, I haven't popped out the letters yet. And that's because I want to add glue at the back only to those pieces that need to stack on top of my acetate. So I am adding glue on those uh, tiny little pieces like the inside of the letter B and the inside of the letter R and A. So once I have glue on all those places, I'm going to add an acetate on top of uh, my speech bubble. And that's what I am doing here. I'm going to press it nicely there so everything is stuck down. And I'm going to turn it over and just peel off only the letters. And um, I found that this was the easiest way to do it. And you will see that once I peel off the letter A, the inside of that already has glue, so it's going to stack there nicely. So I have a lovely window speed bubble there, which is going to turn into a shaker card. Now I am going to place that gold on top of a black cardstock, and just because I am going for a very striking card, I always like to combine gold with black. I think it's a great combination. And what's great about this card is that uh, it can be you can give it to a male or a female. Now I'm adding a gold uh, sequin mix there. And uh, as you can see, I have already created pockets with my foam tape around the letters. And I have also added uh, foam inside those uh, lines of letters so that um, all the sequins don't fall all the way at the bottom of my window. Now I'm going to cover it up with a piece of black and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut off some of those corners that I can still see that they are picking out. And then I'll use tape adhesive at the back to stick that on top of my card base. A very quick and easy card, but really great for any occasion that needs celebrating. For the next card, I'm going to use this adorable stamp set. These are the Happy Hippos. And I'm going to create a sky first by using the stencil that was released this month. So I'm going to go over a white panel and I'm going to add some Distress Ink that's uh, Broken China. I'm starting at the top and moving my stencil slightly down as I try to cover up the whole piece. And as I am moving down, notice that I am uh, changing the um, side of the stencil so that I don't have a repetitive uh, pattern. Now you can move it uh, the other way around, so you can start from the bottom and move your way up. It doesn't really matter. You can even go uh, heavier with color. I just wanted to have a quite of a subtle background here, so I'm not adding too much of ink on my blending tool. Now at this stage I lost a little bit of footage for this card, but that's not too much. So all I did was uh, using a die that was previously released to cut out this cloud and stamped uh, my sentiment on top. The sentiment says it's your day from the same stamp set. And now I will go ahead and add the focal points. As you can see the cloud has been stuck down on this uh, sky by using foam squares. So I do have a little bit of dimension on the cloud. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the hippo, the balloons, as well as a couple of birds. And I like that this hippo kind of has his hand uh, up and uh, that's how I got the idea to give him the balloons so that uh, he looks as if he is flying up at the sky. Now you can use your uh, favorite coloring method to add color to your images. I did use my Spectrum Noir markers here. So I'm going to stick him on top of my sky and then I'm going to give him the balloons so he looks as if he's flying and I'm also going to stick uh, the little birdies all around him so I'm going to place this birdie on top of that cloud there and my panel is now ready I can add some tape adhesive at the back and stick that on top of my card base now my card base is white and uh, it's a standard uh, card that's a top folding card four and a quarter by five and a half as always now on the inside I'm going to stamp another sentiment from the same stamp set so the outside says it's your day while on the inside I'm going to stamp one of the funniest ones that says wishing you a hippo birthday. Now that I thought that was funny and I had to use that. And to embellish the sentiment a little bit more I'm going to add a cupcake and a little cherry directly on top. And my card is finished inside and out. 
a fun and lovely card and uh, make sure to check out the photos for a close-up look on those amazing clouds that that stencil lets you create. So as always, to finish off my card, I added a little bit of shine on the balloons and then again with my glossy accents, I'm going to go over it. So this is going to create even more shine on the balloons. It's going to give a more realistic look and at the same time, it's going to lock that shine I added with my pen on the inside and it's a great effect in real life. For the next card, I stamped uh, the biggest of the stamps that were included in the Jungle Gym stamp set. And again, I'm going to use my matching dies to cut it out. You see, this is a great big uh, die, but it's going to even cut out the inside white spaces like these ones. So I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and then I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir markers to color everything. And uh, when I am creating my 8 cards or my 10 cards, I usually edit out all the coloring just because uh, if I leave it in the video, it's going to take a couple of hours for you to watch. So I'm going to skip directly on where I have colored everything. And now we can move on with the um, card design. Now I have cut out this frame. This comes from a die that's by my favorite things. And I have added a uh, foam tape at the back. So it's a little bit raised. Now I'm going to chop off a little bit of that uh, branch and uh, I'm going to place it as, as if it's coming from behind the frame. But notice that the tail of my tiger is at the top of the frame. I always like to add uh, such uh, details because I think that layering of all the elements on top of a card uh, is a big deal. So I'm also going to add some of those clouds. And um, this uh, gives the illusion that uh, that branch is far up at the sky. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment on a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use one of those banners with the fish tails on each side to cut it out. After running it through my die cutting machine, I have uh, chopped off one of those uh, fish tail sides. I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of my card. And again, it's all about layering, so notice how I'm going to place this banner just under the hand of my monkey. And since the white frame that I used has uh, rounded corners, I'm using my corner chomper here. And I'm going to round the four corners of my card base, so everything matches perfectly. Now let's move on to the next card and this happens to be my favorite of all the 8 cards that I made today. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of the 8 cards that I created was your favorite. I always like to read these comments. Now all I'm doing here is creating a background and I'm using 3 different colors of Distress Ink. That's good old Distress Ink, it's not uh, Oxide Ink. And I'm using my blending tools to add some color. Now you can see on screen right now the three colors that I used, but again you will find everything I use on my videos linked down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Also notice that I don't go ahead and add too much color from the beginning. I always like to build up my layers uh, a little bit at a time so I don't load up my blending tools with too much ink. Otherwise you will get uh, round marks that you will not be able to remove and blend out. So finally I'm going to go to black suit and add some black at the edges. And I'm happy with how my background is looking at the moment, so I will go ahead and add some uh, water splashes in different areas. I'm going to let these for a while and then I'm going to blot them with a piece of cloth. The more you leave those droplets there, the more they will react and it's going to lift the color. But I wanted to have uh, a quite uh, subtle effect. And definitely if you use Distress Oxide inks, this would be even more uh, impressive. Now I'm going to use my heat gun to make sure that everything is nice and dry. And now I will move on and add some splashes with um, gold acrylic paint. Any acrylic paint will do. I'm just using um, Deco Art there. So I'm going to dilute it with a little bit of water and then I'm going to add the splashes on top of my background. When this is going to dry, it's going to be super shiny. 
So now I'm going to use the star dies. So you see I get a star die and a frame and these are great for creating shaker cards. And again I'm going for a shaker card and I'm going to use the star pouch that um, has just been released. So I'm going to cut out a star window from out of my panel and I'm also going to cut out the star frame out of that gold uh, cardstock that I used earlier for that other card. Now this fits perfectly on top so I can bring in my star pouches and you can see how this fits perfectly inside. So I will use the exact same uh, steps as I did for the balloon card earlier. I am going to add some uh, tape adhesive at the back of uh, my panel there so that I can stick the plastic pouch. Then I am going to add some glue at the back of my star frame and stick that on top of uh, my panel. So this is going to fit perfectly over that uh, pouch and I have a lovely shaker window I'm ready to add my mix and again you can go ahead and create your own confetti I decided to go ahead and use a gold uh, sequin mix that I had and I'm going to cover up that uh, star with a piece of gold uh, paper now this is going to match perfectly with the frame that I have on top and you see I have a beautiful shaker card with lots of shine and gold. Now for the sentiment, I decided to go with the Celebrate cut, die cut. And uh, this is just gorgeous. I think I will be using this die a lot. I'm going to add some uh, glue at the back. And for that I'm using my Nuvo glue pen. And then I can stick that directly at the bottom of my panel. So I'm going to place an acrylic block there just to make sure that everything is stuck nicely. And by using tape adhesive at the back, I'm going to stick this panel on top of a black card base. That's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to embellish the inside a little bit. So I'm going to cut out the word U out of the same gold cardstock. I'm going to stick those letters on the inside. And then I'm going to use uh, one of the stamp sets that is called all about you. This has tons of sentiments. And I'm going with the one that says Happy birthday to, I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking on white cardstock and I'm going to emboss it with gold embossing powder. And then I'm going to use one of those uh, banners that cut out the sentiments with fish tails on each side so that I can stick it on top of my card. And as you can see, filming those uh, videos is not an easy task. Uh, my cat always needs my attention. He likes to lay just in front of me where I am filming. So I'm going to give him some love. I'm going to squeeze him, but he doesn't want to go. So I'm going to let him say hello to you. Hello there. <laughs> and then I'm going to move on. And finally stick my banner on top of the word you. So the whole sentiment reads, happy birthday to you. And I also had the golden star left over that I added on the inside of the card. You will see that on the photos. And let's move on to the last card for today, which is not going to be a card actually, this is going to be a gift card holder, so I'm cheating a little bit today. All I did was running this die with a craft cardstock through my Big Shot machine. Now it not only cuts out but also adds the score lines, so I'm using my bone folder. To enforce those score lines I'm going to use some uh, tape adhesive at uh, one of those flaps. And my little envelope is ready and it that fits perfectly a standard gift card size. So I'm going to embellish it a little bit on the front and on the back. And first I'm going to ink up the edges. So I'm bringing in my craft mat there. And I'm going to add some vintage photo all around the edges. I'm not loading my blending tool too much with ink as I don't want to have any harsh lines. So again, a little bit goes a long way. It's better to go over and over again than add too much at the beginning that you don't know how to blend out. I used the Puppy Pulse stamp set that has been just released. I have stamped one of the dogs as well as a couple of bones. And uh, as you can see, I have stamped everything on craft cardstock. 
And I haven't used black uh, ink. Instead, I used uh, coffee ink by Archival Ink. That's actually brown ink. Now, I am uh, coloring everything with uh, my Prisma colors just because I hadn't used them for a while. And I decided to go for that look today. I am going to color everything. I am not going to blend them out with Gamsol or anything. Just leave it as it is. And as you can see, I'm blending two different colors to add shading and everything, just like I would do with my alcohol markers. So now I have my little dog and my two bones, and I have also used this dye that comes from a previous uh, landscape uh, dye set by uh, my favorite things to cut out this grass. I'm going to color it with this stress ink. And then I can start gluing everything down so that I can complete my scene. Now the grass is going to go at the bottom and at the top I'm going to add the little dog as well as the bones. And you can see here that I stuck the dog on top of the grass but uh, you will see later on that I changed my mind and I decided to peel him off and stick him back tucked in behind the grass. In the Puppy Pulse stamp set there is a sentiment that says a treat for you which I have stamped on this uh, scrap piece of craft paper and I'm going to cut it out with a banner die. I am inking up the edges of the banner die so that it matches perfectly with the rest of the theme and uh, that's ready to stick uh, later on. Now first I'm going to create a um, pattern at the back of my envelope there. So I'm going to stamp uh, uh, one of the bones included in the stamp set again and again with uh, brown ink. That's actually coffee archival ink. And uh, I'm going to create a little pattern there. You can leave it as it is or if you wish so you can use your white prisma color pencil and just color it in just like I did. And now I'm ready to stick the sentiment. I have added uh, foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick that at the back just below that uh, flap so that it catches the flat flap a little bit and when you want to close it you can tuck it in. And this is where I decided that I needed one more element at the front so I went ahead and cut out and colored the football so that I can stick it on top. In the stamp set there is a sentiment that has the word hoof that I had to cut out so that I can stamp only this word three times. So it says hoof hoof hoof. A lovely gift card holder for a dog lover. And now let's take a quick look on all the 8 cards that I have created for today using the July release by my favorite things. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area. Don't forget also to leave me a comment and let me know which was your favorite card from today. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos that I created a while back. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time!